Imagine a world where extinct species make a surprising comeback. Sounds like a plot out of a sci-fi movie, right? But hold on to your hats because this isn't the stuff of fiction. It's happening in the real world right under our noses. Let's take the Lazarus taxon, a term for species that reappear after being considered extinct. Fascinating, isn't it? There's the Coelacanth, a fish thought to have gone extinct 65 million years ago, only to be caught off the coast of South Africa in 1938. Or, the Lord Howe Island Stick Insect, believed extinct since the 1920s, found alive in 2001. So, what's the secret behind these surprise comebacks? Is it pure luck or is there a scientific explanation? It's a complex puzzle that scientists are still trying to piece together. So, the question remains what drives these animals to re-emerge after years of absence? To understand this mystery, we need to delve into the world of scientific research and theories. In the realm of science, the resurgence of extinct species is often attributed to a concept known as Lazarus species. This term refers to organisms that reappear in the fossil record after a period of apparent extinction. So, how does this happen? Science provides several explanations. One theory posits that these species never actually went extinct in the first place. Instead, they may have existed in small, undetected populations, only to re-emerge when conditions became favorable again. Another theory revolves around the impact of climate change. As our planet warms, habitats are shifting and altering, sometimes recreating conditions similar to those that existed when these species were thriving. This, in turn, may allow them to re-establish their presence in the wild. Speaking of habitat, let's not forget the role of habitat restoration. Conservationists worldwide are working tirelessly to restore and protect vital habitats. This means replanting forests, cleaning up rivers, and creating safe spaces for wildlife to thrive. These restored habitats can sometimes become the perfect homes for Lazarus species prompting their return. And then, there's the power of conservation efforts. Intensive conservation strategies have been successful in bringing back species on the brink of extinction. These include captive breeding programs, habitat protection measures, and legal protections against hunting and trading. When these efforts succeed, it can seem like a species has come back from the dead, contributing to the phenomenon of the Lazarus species. But let's not forget, science is a constantly evolving field. As we continue to study and understand our natural world, new theories may emerge, and old ones may be revised. This is the beauty of science, it's an ongoing journey of discovery and understanding. Clearly the return of extinct species is a complex phenomenon, intimately tied to our changing world. It's a testament to the resilience of life and a constant reminder of our responsibility to protect and preserve our planet's biodiversity. So let's keep exploring, keep questioning and keep marveling at the wonders of our natural world. But there's more to this story. It's not just about the changing environment but also about the incredible resilience of life itself. The tales of species making a comeback from the brink of extinction are not just about their struggle for survival. They are also stories of adaptation, of resilience, and of the unbelievable tenacity of life itself. Consider the concept of evolutionary resilience. It's the ability of a species to bounce back from the brink, to adapt and evolve in response to changing environmental conditions. It's not just about surviving but thriving, and it's a testament to the enduring power of life. Take, for instance, the story of the Coelacanth. Believed to have gone extinct 65 million years ago, it surprised the world when it was found alive and well in the waters off South Africa. Not only had it survived the extinction event that wiped out the dinosaurs, but it had also adapted to life in the deep sea, a harsh and unforgiving environment. Or consider the case of the New Zealand rock wren. This tiny bird, native to the harsh alpine regions of New Zealand, was considered extinct for many years. However, it was rediscovered in the 1940s and has since made a remarkable comeback. It's a testament to the bird's incredible adaptability and resilience. Then there's the story of the Lord Howe Island stick insect. Thought to have been wiped out by rats in the 1920s, a small population was discovered on a rocky outcrop in the year 2001. Today, thanks to conservation efforts, this living dinosaur is making a comeback. These stories, and many others like them, underscore the remarkable resilience of life. They remind us that life, in all its forms, is incredibly tenacious. It adapts, evolves, and finds a way to survive, even in the most challenging of circumstances. These stories remind us of the incredible tenacity and adaptability of life on Earth. So, what does the return of extinct species mean for us and for the future of our planet? When we consider the reappearance of species once thought to be extinct, we are faced with a complex puzzle. 
one that intertwines the threads of ecology, evolution and conservation. The resurgence of these species with their diverse range of life histories, behaviors and ecological niches has profound implications for the world's biodiversity. Each reappearing species adds a new layer to the rich tapestry of life, enhancing ecosystem complexity and resilience. For instance, the return of a top predator could rebalance a skewed food chain, while the reappearance of a plant species might revitalize a faltering habitat. These rediscoveries also shed light on the tenacity of life, its ability to endure through time and space and its capacity to adapt to changing conditions. They give us hope, signaling that even in the face of extinction, survival remains a possibility. Yet the resurgence of extinct species is not a panacea for the biodiversity crisis we face today. It is rather a stark reminder of the intricate balance of life on Earth, a balance that is increasingly threatened by human activities. Our role in this story is pivotal, the return of extinct species is a testament to the power of conservation efforts. It underscores the importance of protecting habitats, reducing pollution, and mitigating climate change. It calls us to action, urging us to embrace a more sustainable way of life, one that values and respects all forms of life. But it also poses new challenges. How should we manage these returned species? How can we ensure their survival in a rapidly changing world? These are questions that require careful thought, informed by rigorous scientific research and guided by principles of ecological integrity and social equity. As we ponder the enigmatic resurgence of extinct species, we are reminded of the intricate balance of life on Earth and our role in preserving it.